The union collocation space is expected to cash in $2 billion worth of revenues by the year 2019. Uh, to speak more about the market, I've got here Naren San, uh, CEO of Rackbank, one of the newest collocation providers in the country. Uh, Naren, thanks a lot for the front line. Uh, what's happening in India right now? Because there's been a lot of announcements uh, regarding constructions, regarding acquisitions, mergers and acquisitions. Um, there's a huge, there's a bubble starting to come out in India. What's, what's happening? Thank you very much for mm. having me here. Mm. Uh, and uh, yeah, India is a big market. Mm. Potentially, we have half a billion population online mm. and out of 1.3 billion. And uh, India is uh, like consuming data like anything. So mm. it's just a straw, mm. right? And that's a demand driver. Second demand driver is Digital India. It's an initiative by our prime minister. And uh, due to that, a lot of uh, uh, govern e-governance come forward, a lot of all these state governments come forward and started new initiative, digitalizing everything, like mm. almost everything. And the Startup India, so all these startups started solving problems. And they, they come up with the solutions. So mm. everything is digitalized. Mm. And world's largest um, identity program is Aadhaar is in India. So now mm. Aadhaar is now major platform in India, which mm. is integrated with all the government and private sector, like BFSI financial. So Aadhaar, your identity mm. is connected with um, your bank. It is connected with your mobile. It is connected with everywhere, everything. Mm. And government invested $1.2 billion to make it happen. Mm. $1, less than $1, government implement this in nine years. Okay. You know, this is... Uh, world's biggest plan. So now government is very proactive and these are the demand drivers. Second aspect is smart cities. Now Which India's, Narendra Modi is quite strong yeah, about. Yeah. yeah, so smart cities coming up 100 smart cities in India. For two trillion dollars. Yeah. yeah, and data center infrastructure will grow by two billion because of the smart cities. Mm. Right? This is just will not, uh, uh, this uh, research has not covered that aspect as well. Yeah. So we see if world uh, co-location market would be around uh, 1.30, about $130 billion, mm. then think about India is third largest. Mm. Then we can think of this volume India will have in another 10 years. Mm. So that's a demand driver. Third demand driver is the data protection law. It is coming okay. to India in another year or so. So that stipulates the data needs to stay within, stay within, within the borders. India. Okay. Right. So that will, because... Now you think, you, you uh, see that India is served by the uh, Singapore mm. and uh, vicinity data centers and some US data centers. But now these people should have their own location in India. So India is getting hotter mm. in data center perspective. That's why people are now getting that sense mm. they should invest in India. Mm. They should go else, someone else will take their customer. Okay, but when you look at the market right now, how would you describe in terms of who are the leaders of the market? Are we talking about for some uh, telecommunications companies? Because in China, telecommunications companies are the biggest um, data center operators. Is it the same in India? Uh, it's more like the same. Data mm. centers started with telecoms okay. anywhere in the world, yeah. right? So they are still uh, uh, having a leadership position in India, but now it is taking, taken care by the private one, who is a real mm. data center offer, career neutral data center operator. Okay. Yeah, so it is now taken care. So it's a mix of uh, telco, traditional telco, and uh, new data center operator. Okay. And when you look at your business, so what are you doing right now? You've got some facilities already yeah. functional, and then yeah. you're building some more? Yeah. So we have one <coughs> facility in Indore. It's um, uh, my city and where we started our data center, first data center. Now what we come up with the data center park model, where okay. we are going to build data center parks across India in majorly mm. 10 cities right now, and then we'll will further expand this. Okay. But mainly we go with three locations at a time and gradually we'll build. So how big are these parks or these data centers? So uh, parks, uh, the cap it, it is for hyperscale data center. It can be start okay. from um, uh, say 10 megawatts to 100 megawatts. Okay. The area size around 10 acre parcel length mm. to it's depending on the customer demands. We partner with government okay. and we uh, take the... Uh, so just partner, you're not government? Yeah. Okay. Um, and how do you finance the, the, the construction? Okay. Do you get private so, equity? Do you? Yeah. So we have uh, initially we did the debt investment for uh, from the bank, okay. 
uh, for our current facility, but now we are not requiring as of now, because mm. once we, in data park model, we create all the policies and power and uh, of everything done, all the licensing done mm. in the plot. So we don't need, require much investment. But once we get the bigger requirement, then absolutely we'll be needing need. funding. Yeah. Okay. So how much do you envision to invest, for example, in, in 10 India? years? Yeah. In 10 years, probably um, more than $2 billion in more India. More than $2 billion in data centers. Yeah, okay, in that's, India. That's, that's a nice, healthy, yeah. <laughs> healthy budget. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it should um, be, because India is having a <coughs> huge demand. It is mm. going to grow, uh, like 30% is a growth of Indian market. And it is going to grow, because uh, Indians are just coming online. Mm. They are not using any IoT devices or anything, AI or something like that. Once IOTS. they start, you will. So it's just they starting. And once mm. they're starting, they are making 600% growth in data. Mm. So. Yeah, no, it's just because you've already mentioned the startups and also so the, the Indian millennials already have more purchase power than their parents and their grandparents. Yeah. So there's been a massive society change, yeah. not just on the technology level, but on every level right. um, in India. So to quickly finish, what India do you envision uh, for the year 2020? 2020 is very close, mm. but we can see that a lot of uh, uh, stability in the infrastructure, data center side, we see a lot of uh, pri uh, policy change from the government side. So it's a, uh, I think 2020 will see uh, largest colo providers will be in India before 2020. Okay. So we see that India market is going to grow by $5 billion. In two years? In two years. Okay, and when you say the largest collocation providers, you mean the Equinixes and the yeah, digital realities? Yeah, these people are the exploring, world. definitely, they, mm. they should come to India. Mm. So, okay. uh, and we'll definitely help them out. Mm. Uh, if they need anything, mm. uh, if they don't want to partner with us, that's fine. Mm. We will still help them out to come okay. to India. The Could audience. that help them with anything be translated into also, if you want to buy us? we could sell the company or would you not be willing to sell it? Uh, no, selling is not in options as okay. of now. Uh, not in option, mm. not as of now, in any any time. Because we don't want to get, we wanted to be mm. here. We want to give our life to this industry. Okay. We don't want to go, go to, to sell. Uh, sell. Okay, so yeah. you want to build it a bit more, okay. Yeah, okay, build the... <laughs> business which is long lasting. And okay. give a trust to our At least customer. 10 years with 2 billion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It should be long, like 20, uh, 20, uh, two decade mm. or three decade. Mm. Like, it's our Until vision. the next big wave. Not, not sell. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and thanks a lot for talking to me. Thank um, you very much. Don't forget you can follow Data Economy on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. And also visit the website on www.data-economy.com.